Welcome to Dynamics 365 Advanced List Filtering, Child Records, and and or. So what I've got in front of me here is a list of account records in the system, and I'm going to click on Edit Filters on the right-hand side. So this brings up our filter pane, and, uh, and you can do a lot more in here than you can do in the old Advanced Find functionality, and we'll show you what you can do. So at the moment, we can see that we've got the Active Accounts view open, and we've got the filter in place for status equals active. So we're going to start with a simple one and builder. So I'm going to click on add and click add row. And I'm going to say select the field and I want to select where the city equals leads. Obviously, with all of your operators, you've got equals, contains, begins with, so on and so forth. We're not going to go into detail on those today, but you've got all sorts of ways you can interrogate strings or dates or numbers. So we're going to find any active accounts with the city of leads and click apply. Okay, we've got 76. What we're going to do now is we're going to say, okay, um, I'm going to have a look at where the city is Leeds or the city is Halifax. Now, if I don't change this, it's going to do, keep it as an and. So it's going to say the city equals Leeds and the city equals Halifax, which clearly you can't have in a single column. So when I select apply, I get no results returned. But if I select both of these and I then click the ellipsis next to either of them and click make group, I then get the option to keep these two fields in this group and change it from an and to an or. So I'm now going to say where the city equals Leeds or Halifax, and the overarching filter is that the status equals active. Click apply, and I've now got Halifax and Leeds accounts coming through. So you can do a lot of clever functionality with the or conditions, um, and you can stick them together as well. So we could do another or condition here. Um, so I'm going to start off with a group, and I'm going to say, okay, so this time I want to find anything where the open revenue is less than 5,000 or where the open revenue is greater than 10,000. And we're going to have this as an or. So we're going to now find out any records uh, in Leeds or Halifax where the open revenue is less than 5,000. So we're looking for some smaller deals in this scenario or greater than 10,000. So it's going to miss out everything in between. Click apply. And we can see that we've got um, some criteria here. So we've got a 23,000 in there. If you scroll down a bit further, you could obviously sort it by numeric as well. There's another 23,000 in there. Okay, so there's nothing below 5,000 apart from zero. So we may, may want to filter that out. So to do that, you then add an and into here because that's an overarching condition. So we want to find anything where the open revenue does not equal zero. So this should return us our two records with the 23,000, which it does. So you can do a lot of uh, functionality with the or condition and combining it with the and conditions as well. If I click reset to default, it's going to take me back to my default uh, filter. And what I'm going to do now is filter on child records. So this is something that you can't do in advanced find, and it's a great piece of functionality. I want to find the active account records where they've got an open opportunity greater than £10,000. So I can choose uh, my related entity in here. I'm going to scroll down to opportunities. And I've then got the option to put some extra fields down here. So I'm going to say where the est revenue is greater than 10,000. And also where the status equals open. If I click apply, then that will bring back me some records. Okay, so this is fantastic because previously you would have had to go to the opportunities um, and filter on the opportunities, but that might bring up multiple accounts where they've got more than one opportunity. This is now a distinct, unique list of account records where they've got an open opportunity worth more than £10,000. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just go back to our filters again, and this is a really clever bit. Now, this is a bit of a, a fictitious example, but what you could do is you could add a related entity here, and you could say, okay, I want to find um, filter that list even further to contacts for the companies where the full name, so I'll just scroll down to full name, 
equals David Jones. So we are doing a filter across opportunities and across contacts now. Click apply. And we've got two David Joneses at these organizations. Um, and they've got open opportunities greater than £10,000. Click edit filters. And let's say we just want to do one final condition here, which is to say that the city, we only want to find those that are in London. So this is going to apply the filter at the top level as part of the and. Click apply. And there we go. So we've got an and condition working there, and we've got uh, conditions working across two separate child entities um, to be able to do that, uh, that filter. So it's a very, very, very powerful way of working with your data. Just a little note that within the child entities, even if you um, select these, um, then what you have to do is you have to click Make Group. It looks like you can't change it um, prior to that, but what you have to do is you have to click Make Group, okay? And then you can have this as an or as well. So if you wanted to do all conditions within your child entity, you can also do that. You just need to make them into a group first, similar to what you do at this top level here as well. So as you can see, huge amounts of functionality. Um, you could do this against accounts. You could do it against contacts, working from the top level down. You could do it for opportunities. Find me any opportunities which are open where the quotes are less than £5,000 or greater than £10,000 or whatever the criteria are for your business. Um, but it's a fantastic way to be able to interrogate your data um, and drill down through the different levels of child records within the system.